so guys in today's video i'll be showing you a very special and unique strategy that you can use to grow your small account okay now i'll be showing you with both indicator and how you can do your analysis using price action also all right in order to get a better entry now let me show you based on the indicator all right as you can see right now i'm currently in a trade right so now i'm going to delete this indicator so that i will add it up for you guys to see it and know exactly where i did it right so now you can see this is a plain chart and this is my analysis right so i'm going to also delete this so i'll do it afresh right <coughs> so now here on the one minute time frame as you can see from your main looking you will not understand what's going on here all right but you will do in a minute right so first of all you click on this end icon right here so we are going to be clicking on this icon here now so our first indicator here is going to be the relative strength index right so you search and add the relative strength index right so these are the parameters the period is one apply to close the style to pixel the color is blue and these are the levels right 15 and 85 the level is the most important one here right you have to set it 15 and 85 the, the pixel are two and the color is black if you are using a white background right so after that you click on done you are going to see the um relative strength index has been added right and you can see the levels right which is the most important thing right here so after adding this the next um, indicator here is going to be the moving average right so you are going to search for the moving average but before you search for the moving average this is the indicator you have to click on now right to click on that the second one now you search for your moving average which is right here sorry you click on it and these are the period these are the parameters the period is seven the shift is zero method exponential apply to close under the style we have three pixel the color is red right so after that you click on done right now you can see the moving average has been added right so now the next indicator here is still the moving average right you still click on this icon here and then you search for moving average which is this one now you are going to change the period to 14 right 14 and then you are going to leave every other setting the same way now the, the thing you have to change here is just the color you have to change this one to green right and then you click on done right as you can see it has been added right so here we have the the um red, red moving average which is the seven moving average and the blue the green sorry which is the 14 moving average so after that our next indicator here is going to be same thing on the main chart right so you have to add these same indicators here on the main chart so now you have to click on this f icon here so we are going to still add the same indicators on the main chart right as you can see it has been added to the main chart here Has been added to the main chart here right you click on the n icon again you click on this f icon right and then you, you you search and add the moving average again so now you have to change it to seven just as it is on the indicator window the color is red and then you click on done so as you can see it's added right so now if i'm to show you based on the indicator right the requirement here is that whenever price gets to the oversold level which is the 15 level right you are to wait for the crossing to occur wait for the red to cross above the blue sorry the green once the red crosses above the green you are to go in for five candles all right that is based on only the indicator right so now as you can see as you can see the requirement is not met here but i still took an entry you know why 
this one here is based on price action right i took this entry here based on price action and now i will show you exactly the way i was able to do that all right so now going to the 30 minute time frame right i can see that um, price is currently in an uptrend right so i draw my trend line sorry i drew my trend line here so as you can see you can see that price is currently going up all right so after drawing my trend line here on the 30 minute time frame i move down to the one the 15 minute time frame sorry now here i can see price went deep so i try to follow it closely right so i draw another trend line here right so now after drawing this trend line right i can still spot that there was a support and resistance zone here that price is currently breaking up right so i'll try and identify that also so you can see there's a support and resistance zone over here right that needs to be spot or drawn out so this is what i saw here right so i mark it out and then i saw that price is currently heading up all right down to this next red line above there all right so that is where I'm, um, the price is currently heading all right or it will spike down but whenever i spike down i will still hold because i'll hold until i can see that price has broken through this zone right price has broken through this zone and even if it broke through the zone it might still come down to the trend line and bounce up so what i'm doing now is that i'll hold i'll hold till i see that there's a spike and it broke through this trend line below that is when i'll close my trade all right but if it doesn't then i'll hold till it gets to this level here right so as i was saying there was a spike now but i believe this um, support and resistance zone will still bounce it back right so this 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 and this is what's happening here let me step down to the five minute time frame so here on the five minute time frame you can see that whenever there is a breakout there must be a retest so that is what's going on you can see the breakout happen and this is the retest so i'm expecting price to continue going up all right so that is why i took the entry and that's why i'm still currently holding all right so that is how i personally analyze all right using both price action and the indicator all right so so that's it guys that's it for this video and that's what's going on now all right so this is what i'm going to do i will try as much as possible to leave this video to play all right so that we all can see how this move will go all right so as you, you all know we can't predict the market all right we just have to react to it we just have to draw our setup mark out our setup and then and pray for price to go our way all right that's what I, I will see all right we'll pray for price to go our way all right but risk management is very important guys so i have the i i have the equity to hold all right that's why i'm not scared all right so i can hold till even if it spike and break through this then that is where i know I, I should close my losses right but if it doesn't break through that i know that there's every possibility that price will still go up all right so that is pretty much what i'm waiting for right now all right as you can see i didn't um, set any stop loss because i know price will not respect it all right the only thing that uh, spike respect on boom and crash is a strong support and resistance zone all right it's where that zone is that that uh, spike is going to stop but it will not stop based on your stop your your you setting stop loss or in any of that all right so that is what i know and that is what i'm currently looking out for all right so now that all is said if you are a new viewer you know what to do please make sure you subscribe turn on your notification bell so that whenever i post a powerful strategy like this you get notified immediately and don't forget to give this video a like right so let's now watch and see how this plays out so this is going to be my tp area right here so i'm just going to mark that zone so that whenever price gets there i will know right you know this is not just a line it's a zone right so let me just mark it out
all right let me just delete this now now I will just leave the video to play as we watch how things go. 